Hey everyone, this is a trader investor coming to you for a live analysis of the broader markets. And today uh, I took a little bit of time because I wanted to cover one uh, concept. I know we talk about support resistance, 15 minute ranges quite a bit, but I really wanted to hone in on a concept so that it is clearer to you as you make your tradings. So let's start off with the spies. And yesterday we had a gap up, but as you see, the first 15 minutes never pushed above that range. So price uh, consolidated for a little bit and then it just went down to close the gap. It closed the gap and even further down to the low of uh, Friday. So this is where we ended the day. And then today we gapped up, but then we failed to continue to push that gap up. So it was a sign that, you know, the downward trend was not over yet. But today was not a day to enter a put position. And why do I say that? Why I say that is because when you look at the low from uh, last week, which also aligns with the low from Tuesday and the low from yesterday, the low from yesterday, not a whole lot of space for us as price keeps pushing down. So I knew that the possibility of price stalling in this area was there. Now, a confirmation that this would be over would be price would close below it, test it and continue its way down. But that's not what we are seeing. What we saw is price went to the low of last week and it immediately reversed. And not only did it reverse, it went above VWAP in one 15 minutes bar, and now it's continuing to push back up into positive territory. So today we're already in a positive territory. So if we look at the queues and uh, we look at something similar, but in the queues, another interesting thing is I'll switch to the daily so you can see this. I had drawn a trend line price was respecting this trend line uh, for a while. And so when we come to the 15 minute chart, we want to see that trend line into the picture. And where did price go? Two things. The 15 minute range low of Friday, the low of Friday, and the trend line. All of those came into the picture right here. So what does that say? This says, hey, I'm going to be cautious, cautious in a couple of ways. One, I don't want manipulation. Manipulation could happen. Therefore, I'm not going to jump in a trade just because we are at support. And as you can see, price hit that support reverses. Anybody who said, hey, I'm going to go long and they have a tight stop, they could have been stopped out at this one bar which is the 8.15 Pacific time bar. So that is a possibility. So I want to make sure that there's no manipulation. Uh, and anybody who went short because they say, hey, we broke this, we broke the trend line, and I'm going to go short, well, that same 15 minute bar just took care of them. They got stopped out as well. So now we're back to the upside. So similar to spies, Q's did their thing. IWM, my leading indicator, has been weak. The whole of last week <clears throat> did not really have a good strength. You know, starting Thursday, it just kind of kept pushing down, up, not up enough, pushing down and up again. And, you know, is the market ready to take off? Not yet. Not yet because we are seeing lower highs. We are seeing lower highs uh, in the last day and a half of trading so until we break the structure and if i uh, use different uh, markers here so as we make lower highs and we see a break of uh, structure here retest those values and go up until we see this we are making lower highs and as a result we i am not in a hurry to jump into any significant trade yet 
And with IWM for me being a leading indicator, it just says, hey, be cautious, even though uh, spies and queues are really strong today, they're really strong. Well, are we going to go past the 50 minute range of yesterday, yesterday's high, or are we going to stall yet to be seen? Uh, ideally, we want to see this break, come back for a little bit and, you know, off to making new highs. This is what we want to see. But for now, we just wait and uh, see for what the markets want to give us. As always, we trade what we see. We don't trade what we want to see. Uh, diamonds, uh, lower high, lower high, lower high. And then we broke this lower high today. Today's lower high, the last lower high we have, we broke that. And now we are making higher lows. We are making higher lows. Again, are we heading to new highs or are we going to break in this area? This trend line has been broken multiple times, but every time we break it, we go back above it. We break it, we back above it. So this is not an area where it is really strongly held as, hey, we broke this, we're off to the races to the downside, but we are breaking uh, this trend line coming back right into it. So all of them today really showing some strengths of recovery. Now IWM is my weakest in terms of recovery because IWM is not over the most recent uh, lower highs. Uh, Qs are over that lower high. Spies are over that lower high. But IWM is the weakest today when IWM is weak, when you know small caps are weak, it means the broader market is not ready to jump in the trade. Whether you know the macros say, "Hey, uh, we're in a good uh, economic trend, everything is positive," but if institutions are not pouring money into small caps, then the broader market is not ready to take off yet. And when because small caps will lead us up and they will lead us down. And when small caps are kind of stalling, they don't know what they want to do. I'm just cautious, right? I don't load up the uh, dump truck on all my positions. I, I participate regularly, but I just take smaller positions uh, because of how the broader market is reacting. When I see strong moves in IWM, then it's time to back up the dump truck and load up some more. And <clears throat> even at times I might overload. So broader markets, uh, strong sign of recovery today, really strong sign of recovery. That is, I like to see those recoveries. And the, the entry, I was hesitant for an entry, even if you look at uh, the low of yesterday to the low of last week, $1.23. Yes, you could say, hey, you know, once we break that, let's go. But I'll show you the but part is how do I get a good solid entry? A solid entry is not just I just broke this. Let me chase is I broke this. Do I test this area and can I go? Because when I have this opportunity, I'm going to shoot for more than just this low here. Especially if that low, if price came down to that low, retested the, you know, the other low as resistance, then I know I can go for more than just a dollar move. But for now, I did not have, hey, I broke this, there's about a dollar distance. Can I wait, 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 patiently wait, retest? Nope, we never broke down. It just continued to push higher and higher. And one last thing I want to go over is, this recovery here, I wanted to see what is driving that recovery. I wanted to see what is driving that recovery. And I looked at any economic news. There's no major economic news that is driving this. So uh, I'm not glued to the news, uh, you know, CNBC, Bloomberg or any other news. So maybe something happened that I have missed that I will catch up later on. But, you know, for the U.S., 
nothing major. For New Zealand is what we see as a major uh, catalyst, but that doesn't impact us, at least it doesn't impact us today. That's near market close time. So this is, uh, I just wanted to mention that so that you, you see why things sometimes recover if there's some major news. There was no major news, but the broader market in general, they just are happy with what is going on. And as a result, price just pushed up and which is good for our long term holds. And then for trading, we just trade what we see. All right, everyone, this has been uh, the analysis for this Tuesday, uh, August 3rd. And I will see you in the next video. Take care for now.